guys, Valkorum, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explain the different room types for the game Going Medieval. We're going to look at what is required for each room type, and what is the bonus you get for having that room type created. Alright, let's get started, and please remember to like, subscribe, or leave a comment as it really does help me out. Okay, here we are in game. Ignore the big giant cheaty uh, stockpile over here. I just added a whole bunch of stuff just to make sure I had enough resources to build everything that was needed. Alright, so we're going to go through the different room types. So you can see them um, from here, shortcut V, or you can just click on the overlay here. So as you can see, as you turn them on, the different highlight comes up. But we'll go through each one. So this one here, this is the library. So to create a library, you need a basic research table, and then either one of a research table or an advanced research table. So here I've just got basic research table and the research table. And then you need two wall bookshelves. And what that then is, is you see that this room is a library. So the bonus you get from that is a speed bonus for when you're writing books. So if you click on the actual basic research table, you'll see here room type production speed 120%. The 120% seems to be the bonus for all the rooms. But that there is a library. So over here we have a kitchen. So in the kitchen, to be create a kitchen, you need a stove or what they call the uh, the fireplace, and a butchering table, and two. Let me zoom in a bit. Two wall pottery shelves. Once you've got that, then you can get the room type kitchen. And as you can see, the stove and the butchering table both have an increased speed of 120%. So this one here is your Church of Restitution Chapel. So this is for your religion type. So in this room here, you need the obviously the uh, Restitutionist Shrine. And you need two Church of Restitutionist wall decorations. I have one here and one here. And as you can see, that gives us the Church of Restitution Chapel. And the, uh, the bonus for that is a positive mood bonus for Church of Restitution villages when they use it. Right, the same also goes for the uh, Church of uh, the Oak Brethren. So this is the Oak Brethren Temple. You can see here it's the same thing. So you need the uh, Oak Brethren Shrine and then you need two of their wall decorations. So I've got one there and one there. Okay, again that gives them a bonus to their mood when they come and use this. Over here we have a single bedroom, so this is just called a bedroom. Basically it's a room with a single bed in it, whether it's a hay bed or a, um, a hay sleeping spot, doesn't matter, as long as it's got a single bed and that's it, and then that becomes a bedroom. And now that is a greater mood boost for villagers for sleeping in a bedroom than compared to sleeping in the next room we're about to show you, which is the shared bedroom. So that's this one here. I've got six beds in this one, nothing else, and as you can see, this is a shared bedroom. So the mood bonus is not as good in a shared bedroom versus a single bedroom. I've got multiple here just because I've got 10 villages so I was out putting to set it up. All right, now to the two more complex rooms. We've got this one here, which is our workshop. The workshop requires one armorer's table, one bowyer's table, one blacksmith forge, a woodwork bench, and then either a stone medicine's bench, as I see here, or a sewing table. So one or the other of a stone mason's bench and a sewing table. And then you need two wall tool shelves. Once you've got that, then that creates the workshop. And as you can see, all of the uh, the tables in here, all the uh, the work stations in here, sorry, all have that 120% speed bonus. Um, probably something I should have mentioned, but I'm not sure if I did. Uh, all the rooms need to be walled and have roofs of them, so they need to be sealed enclosed rooms. Okay, and the final room, let's go into it, 
is what they call the Great Hall. That's this one here. So the Great Hall has to have a medium or a large table. It has to have at least six chairs. Okay, I've got ten here. It has to have at least eight banners, wall shields, or wall decorations. So as you can see here, I've got the wall shield decorations. So there's some there and some at the end. And uh, at least four torches. And it must have a floor area of at least 50 blocks. So that's this one. This is six by a lot. Uh, I think it'll actually tell you in here somewhere. Um, great hall. Wooden floor 72. This is a 72. It needs to be at least 50 for it to be a great hall. So the bonus you get here is a positive mood bonus to your villagers after they eat a meal. Right, so the way you can also check that in game without having to write this down or refer back to it is when you turn on the overlay for rooms. See, oops, wrong button. See here, this room types legend. If you hover over one of them, it will tell you what you have. So you can see here, kitchen. Must have one stove, two wall pottery shelves, one butchering table, and no other workstation, shrines, or beds. And you can do that, bring your mouse over for every other single room. And there's also a spare room, which is just a room with nothing else in it. So I've actually built one of those over here, where I just put the backgammon table, and as you can see, it's a spare room. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help. Thanks very much. Bye.